starting with sad news. American singer-songwriter Jimmy Buffett has died. The self-described beach bum turned billionaire who built a commercial empire on the success of his breakthrough hit Margaritaville 50 years ago passed away September 1st. He was 76 years old and a statement on his website says Jimmy passed away peacefully surrounded by his family, friends, music and dogs and lived his life like a song his, till his very last breath. He'll be remembered, he'll be missed by so many. The Mississippi native built his name touring his folk country songs around the United States in the 1970s. He mostly sang about the easy-go-lucky life on the beach with a feel-good vibe, easy melodies, and a tropical lilt. Margaritaville became a mainstay of resort musicians and a vacation favorite with its lyrics about wasting away and nothing to show but his brand new tattoo. Buffett's other popular songs included It's Five O'Clock Somewhere, Cheeseburger in Paradise, and Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes. Now for the good news, the Rolling Stones are releasing their new album, Hackney Diamonds, the first in 18 years. It's almost the first album. It's also the first album the band has recorded without drummer Charlie Watts, who died in 2021. On sem September 6th, hardcore fans lined up in a heat wave outside the Hackney Empire Theater in East London for the launch event, where inside, the, the Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon interviewed the three surviving Stones on stage. Mick Jagger, 80, Keith Richards, 79, and Ronnie Woods, 76. Here's a part of that interview. There was lots of ideas floating about, and we gathered them all together just before Christmas last year and made a go of it, didn't we? Yeah. We, did yeah, we cut them all but very quickly. It's been quickly. 18 years since you yeah, made well, it. We've been very there lazy. Was, there was a blitz on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was not very quick at all. We, we, we have done something. We've okay. been on the road most of the time. But yeah. we, we, no, we were, we were, maybe we were a bit too kind of like lazy, and then suddenly we said, why don't we go? We go. Let's get, let's put a deadline and let's make a record and put a deadline. So Keith and I and Ronnie had this chat and we said, OK, we'll make this record Christmas and we're going to finish it by Valentine's Day. So we made two albums. So, <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we, we, we went into the studio, uh, in, like Ronnie said, uh, in December and we cut 23 tracks and very quickly and finished them off in January and mixed them in February. Hackney Diamonds will be the Stones' first studio album of new songs since A Bigger Bang in 2005. The release date is October 20th. I, for one, can't wait to hear this, as I'm sure many of you are, too.